Hi there, Mr. Muhammad is here. Exercise set 18. These questions are about uh, making linear programming. It means we're going to graph three inequalities or more to have a region closed between the lines that have been made by drawing the inequalities. So I'm going to draw the graphs of the first three inequalities of question one properly. Then for the following questions, I'm going to use GeoGebra to save time and draw the graphs accurately and quickly. Question one, in page 198 in your book, the first inequality is x plus y is less than or equal to 11, the second and the third inequalities. What you draw in the xy axis is the equations, like instead of this, we are going to draw x plus y is equal to 11. And basically you can draw this by substituting three values in place of x and work out their y's. Or there is a faster way since x and y are on the left side and the 11 is right here so we can say x is equal to 11 y is equal to 11 x is 11 on the x-axis is here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 on the x-axis is right here and 11 on the y-axis 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 is right here so by joining these two points, we will get the graph of x plus y is equal to 11. If you want to do it in the ordinary way, you are going to choose some values for x and work out their y's. For example, if you choose 1 for x, put 1 in place of x. 1 plus which number will be 11? So y will be 10. If you choose, for example, 3 for the x, Put 3 here, 3 plus which number will be 11? Y will be 8. And choose, let's say, 11 for the X. 11 plus which number will be 11? 0. Then plot these three points on the XY axis. Join them with a straight line. You will get the exact same straight line that I have here. Since it has equal with it, so the line, as you see, is not a dashed line. It's just a solid line. Y is greater than or equal to 3. It's just a horizontal straight line passing through 3 in the y-axis. Where is 3 in the y-axis? 1, 2, 3. 3 in the y-axis is right here. So it will be a straight line passing through this from the y-axis. So this is the straight line and the third one x is equal to y remember this when x is equal to y it will be always a straight line passing through the origin and goes like this passing through the origin and here okay how can we decide where is the region of the solution? Where is the region that we can point some reliable answers? Okay, look at the first one. This purple graph is for x plus y is x plus y is less than or equal to 11. On which side of this line x plus y is less than 11? Definitely on this side because as long as we go like this, the x's and y values are getting smaller. So we are going to shade the side of the purple line. So the side shaded, the unwanted one. The shaded one is always the rejected one. Rejected. The side is the correct one. On this side, always x plus y will be less than 11. The Next inequality is y is greater than 3. So here, look at this line. This On this line, y is equal to 3. So where on this line, y is more than 3? If we go down, y will be 2, 1, 0. So this side is the rejected one. 
because under this line y will not be more than 3 y will be less than 3 and look at this line the line of x is equal to y is this diagonal where on this line y's are less than x's as long as we go like this the x's are getting bigger that's why we're getting on this line x's are getting bigger than y that's why we accepted this side and we rejected the other side that's why we're going to shade this side because on the side y's are greater than x but what we want y should be less than x so on the side y's are always less than x as long as we go like this then the unshaded region is this triangular region in the middle among all the lines so we can pick the points that could be the reasonable answers from here so that's how we draw the lines that's how we draw the inequalities as we did some on the previous lesson so there are a lot of points that their coordinates are just whole numbers all right after we found the region the question has part a and b it asks about the maximum value for x plus 4y in this region and the question wants the minimum value for 3x plus y in this region then look at this region the maximum point is here because the question says that has the coordinates whole numbers so the maximum is here let me highlight it yellow so the maximum is here what is the y of this point the y of this point is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The y of this point is 6, and the x of this point is 5. So 5, 6 is the maximum point in this region. If we put 5 in place of x and 6 in place of y, we will get 4 times 4 times 6 is equal to 20 plus 5 is equal to 29 then the maximum value is in this point and the minimum value for 3x plus y the minimum value in this region is here this is the only whole number which is the smallest the x is 3 here the y is also 3 why we cannot choose this point because the x is 4 we have smaller than 4 we have smaller than 5 that's why we choose 3 because we don't have any whole number in this region which is smaller than 3 for the x and we don't have any whole number in this region which is smaller than 3 for y well 3 3 is the minimum possible point and if we substitute 3 in place of x it will be 3 times 3 9 and 3 in place of y 9 plus 3 that gives 12 question 1 done now let's move on to question 4 word problems for questions 2 and 3 their homework make sure to do them and check your answers with the answer case Kojo is given 1.2 dollars to buy some peach and apples peach cost 20 cents each apples 10 cent each he is told to buy at least six individual fruits he has to buy at least six fruits but he must not buy more apples than peach well the question gives us that x is number of peach and y is number of apples well part a write down three inequalities which is satisfying the story here well two right inequalities look at it the question in the beginning looks so weird but let's break down the steps and make some simpler steps in it firstly when you see the cost of apples or the the cost of fruits are by cents and the total money that kojo is given is in dollars the first thing we do 1.20 dollar is equal to 120 cents then he must buy peach and apples x stands for number of peach so and each peach costs 20 cents so 20x plus 10y the sum 
or the total cost shouldn't be more than 120 cents so it could be less than 120 cents or equal to 120 cents this is the first inequality the second inequality he's told to buy at least six individual fruits and but he must not buy more apples than peaches. so number of peaches are more than number of apples because he's been told like this then peach number of peach that x stands for so x which is number of peach must be more than number of apples this is the second inequality the third inequality the question says write three inequalities okay then what else he he is told to buy at least six individuals so it means number of peach plus number of apples together must be at least six it means it could be six or more than six the question doesn't say at most six six is not the upper bound it's not the limit it could be six or more than six because the question says at least six now we got three inequalities based on this question then we have to draw the inequalities if there's any simplification it's better to simplify before you draw this inequality we can divide all the numbers here by 10 that gives 2x plus y is less than or equal to 12 we're gonna draw this this and this the first one is 2x plus y 2x plus y is we draw the equal is equal to 12 when you draw the graph it's easier to draw it like a linear equation then as you know x is equal to y is a diagonal line x plus y is equal to 6 as this so the closed region the closed region is right here now let's pick some points that satisfies part B so some points here we can say this point it has whole numbers or this point because the numbers have equal with it these are the possible points that represents number of peaks and number of apples so all the possible answers are he can buy six peaches and zero apples six zero the other coordinates he can buy five peaches and one apple because x stands for number of peaches and y stands for number of apples he can buy four peaches and two apples he can buy three peaches and three apples he can buy four peaches and four apples four peach and three apples five peach two apples six peach zero apples then done next question so focus the most important thing about this type of question is how do you make the inequalities then Ula is told to buy some melons and oranges. Melons are 50 cent each and oranges are 25 cent each. So basically we know the first inequality is 50 times melon plus 25 times orange should be less than or equal to two dollars which is 200 cent and to make it simpler instead of saying 50 melon we say 50x because the question says x stands for number of melons and y stands for number of oranges the first inequality is 50x plus 25y it cannot be more than 200 cents because ola cannot spend more than two dollars then the cost of these fruits should be less than or equal to two dollars but these prices are in cents so the two dollars should be exchanged to cent 
which is 200. We just got the first inequality. Keep reading. She must not buy more than two melons. So number of melons should not be more than two. X stands for number of melons and X should be number of melons should not be more than two. So X could be two or less than two. Number of melons should not be more than two. It means it could be two or less than two. We got another inequality. She must buy at least four oranges. So it means she can buy four oranges or more than four oranges, but she cannot buy less than four oranges. Then Y stands for number of oranges. Then Y is more than or equal to four because she can buy four oranges or more than four oranges. She is also told to buy at least six fruits altogether. Six fruits altogether means X, which stands for number of melons, plus Y, which stands for number of oranges together, should be at least six. So it should be more than or equal to six. Now we got four inequalities as the question wanted for then the next step is drawing it's better to simplify the inequalities before you start drawing let's do it all of these numbers are divisible by 25 so the equi the inequality that we draw is 2x plus y is less than or equal to 8 because we divided all of these numbers by 25 this one is already simple, this one is simple, and this one is also simple. So we're going to draw these four inequalities. Then look at the region among them, the closed region among them. Then we pick some points that help Ula to buy a combination of fruits. Okay, the first one is 2x plus y is less than 8 so 2x plus y 2x plus y 2x plus y is equal to 8 that's what we want to give us the line then we have x is equal to 2 x equals 2 is this vertical line and we have y equals 4 y equals 4 is this horizontal line and finally x plus y is equal to 6 x plus y is equal to 6 now we got the region then which region is the answer in this graph which region is the answer well this region is the answer and these coordinates are the possible combinations for Ula she can buy zero melon six orange zero melon seven orange zero melon eight orange one melon, five orange, and she can buy three melon and three orange. She can buy two melon and four orange. These are all the possible combinations for Ula.